What's up, guys? So, I am here, here at work and taking a break, um, but just kind of collectively going through some thoughts. And I was listening to some old 70s soul R&B kind of music earlier, and the song Treat Her Like a Lady came on. And it just got me thinking. Um, treat her like a lady. What if she's not a lady? What if she doesn't want to be treated like one? Like some of these songs have some very antiquated notions. And when we're looking at the way things are today, it's hard enough just to open a door for somebody without it being a source of some form of outrage. Let me close this door. Um, so what do we do in that instance? And even back then when that song was out and it was a popular thing, do we have to just immediately give everybody the highest level of respect? What happened to just like, I'm all for just basic human decency, basic human respect. I will respect your, your space, your right to, you know, do things as long as you're not hurting other people. That's all good. But treat her like a lady. Boy, there's some levels of simping going on there that I get people will say, well, it's, you know, romantic, it's dating, it's this and that, open a door, this and that. Look, people, in my estimation, you got to earn a lot of things. A lot of things that I'm going to give to you as far as respect and a very invested energy, you got to earn that. And you have to return it. So it's kind of the golden rule, treat others as the way you would want to be treated. I understand all of that. Um, but then there's something now people are calling the platinum rule and it's treat people how they want to be treated. And a lot of people don't want to be treated in this fashion because what happens now is, especially for women, it's looked at as sexist. What? I can't open my own door. I can't pay for my own meal. I can't do this, this or that. Or the, it's the trapping. Well, I don't want you to pay for my meal because then I don't want to feel like I owe you something because most of the time... Some of you savages are going to want sex. So where do we go from this? Ladies, let me know. Let, do you want to just be treated like a lady right off the bat? Or do you feel like you should have to earn some of that? Because if the flip was, you know, treat him like, you know, a king, doesn't he have to show and exhibit the, the traits of a king, you know, which would be like leadership, strength, confidence, courage. If he's giving you none of that, how in the world can you treat somebody, you know, like a king? So if she's not buttoned up, if she's, you know, not um, feminine, if she's not friendly, if she hasn't taken care of herself, if she's not taking care of the people around her, uh, bringing a positive energy, those to me are ladylike traits. And when, I guess when you think of that, you think of like royalty or somebody very high up the, uh, the social chain. If you're, you know, putting gum on the edge of your plate, if you're cussing, if you're getting, you know, excessively drunk or you're fighting and things like those aren't ladylike qualities. And maybe I'm just a dinosaur and those are ladylike qualities. But I think there's a difference also between being a woman and a lady. I think it's like saying a man and a gentleman. There's there's levels. And I think that what those speak to are having certain etiquettes in place, having certain, you know, um, social know-hows and things like that. So maybe I'm just, you know, maybe I'm the dinosaur. Maybe I'm being completely out of line. But again, ladies, what do you think? Guys, what do you think? Um, because if we were to, I guess, can we take that and apply it to something else? Um, you know, treat them like what? Um, you wouldn't treat like a private, like a general. I don't know. Is that a reach? <laughs> like, But what it speaks to, I guess, if you were going to say that, like it would speak to a general has ascended to a certain level that all people will acknowledge across the board. And so therefore you salute you sirs and this and that, whereas a private, yes, they deserve a level of respect for being, you know, uh, in the service, but they haven't obtained the time in the the studying being astute being part of something for so long that again they are again you know like an asset to those around them they are 
known for leadership. They are known for successes. They are known for accomplishment. Those are the things I think that you're paying forward when you're saying treat somebody like a lady, treat somebody like a gentleman, what have you. And again, I think that it needs to be reciprocated, but it cannot be just given flat out the gate where it's just like, hey, you know, I just met you. Let's go out for dinner. It's our first date. Yes, you want to put on a good show. I think you definitely want to put on your best foot to say, I I want to show you, you know, a certain level of respect. But a lot of times we got to be honest, if you are going above and beyond in a lot of those cases, what's your bottom line? Because you don't know if you want to be with this person forever. You are very physically attracted to them. And so therefore you are trying to peacock You're peacocking and peacocks, you know, they are out there dancing with the feathers and, you know, showboating around and just like a lot of male animals do. (laughs) Why? It's for mating. You are trying to impress in the, in the hopes that you will get to mate. That's, that's the end result with a lot of people. Now, where does it go from there? That's all up to the people. But if you're just talking right out of the gate now, I do have to back that up because a lot of times people have talked for some amount of time, gotten to know each other a little bit better. So it's not always just about the, you know, doing the, the, the dirty, but on some level, that's what we're here for. Biologically, that's what we're here for. And as much as people would want to say, well, you know, we're humans, we should be able to think beyond that. No, because there's still a reason why we, you know, we fight, we, you know, do a lot of the things that we do because it's in the biological makeup. Mating and the pursuit of sex is just one of those. So treat her like a lady, treat her like a lady. Um, Where do we, where do we stand with that? I think that it's fair to treat somebody with a decent amount of just everyday, you know, human courtesy. And for me, I open the doors for men and women alike. I think that there's just a politeness about it. Um, And therefore, if I open the door, I don't think I've ever come across the point where a woman was put off, or at least she didn't say that she was put off by me opening a door for her. And most of the time, again, it's if in the circle that I'm in, Most people at work or wherever have probably just seen me open doors for many people, but just for strangers or anything else, you know, you open the door most of the time, they're just going to say thank you. A lot of times they don't. So is that a lady? A lady would say, thank you, sir. Thank you, kind sir. And I would say, you're welcome, madam, or something like that. But if they don't, so now I went to the effort to quote unquote, treat somebody like a lady and I just got shat upon. So how good is that? Because again, treat her like a lady. That does not mean that, you know, when you pull that chair out and push her in for, you know, at that dinner table that, you know, she's not going to end up again, you know, spitting the gristle from her steak out on the edge of her plate or something. And whereas a lady would kindly discard it into her napkin and leave it folded for no one to see something along those lines. Or would a lady even get the steak? That's so... (laughs) Ah, where am I going with this? Where am I going with this? But (laughs) treat her like a lady. Um, Treat treat him like a gentleman. Um, I cuss. I spit. Um, I pick things. Um, Not my butt. Um, But, you know, like, I don't think I exhibit gentleman-like qualities. But I wouldn't mind just being treated with, like, The simple respect. I don't, you know, I'm not Dick Van Dyke. I don't need a martini when I walk into the house ready for me uh, from a woman, you know, in a nice gown or whatever. That would be something that you would do every once in a while, occasionally, special occasions. Or if she's just in that mood to, you know, treat me like a gentleman. I wouldn't turn it down. But I still think that there's something that you, you know in place what you are doing. And a lot of times if you are not that gentlemanly type, it may make the person uncomfortable. Like, what are you doing? Like, I don't have a tuxedo on, but what's this? Why is this, you know, drink it, you know, with an olive sticking out of it, you know, in my hand now. So I think you also, when you know somebody well enough, you treat them to a degree, the platinum rule, 
how they would want to be treated. But you have to be careful with that because somebody might want to be treated to 12 beers in one night. And that's not good. So you have to be careful with that. Treating that lady like the way she would want to be treated. She might want five steaks. And that's the tip of the iceberg. And those weren't those steaks weren't cheap. And that weight's going to keep going up. That's not a good sign. So you have to, you know, I don't know, just each person, each coupling is going to have their own experience. Each individual is going to have their own experience based off of how they grew up and how they saw maybe their mothers and fathers treat each other. Um, so then their influence on their dating prior to getting to the point where they are with the next person that they are supposed to treat like a lady or gentleman. So there's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. Um, and I think we're also more complex than this as well, that it's not just a lady. Cause what is the, um, uh, what's the saying you want a lady in the streets, but a freak in the sheets or something like that. So, you know, you're not going to treat her with, you know, opera gloves <laughs> when you're in bed. She's going to want you to, you know, do something a little different. So if she says smack it or, you know, choke me, I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. But what I'm saying is treat her like a lady is one person's notion of how to treat somebody. Um, and maybe I need to listen to the lyrics to the song. Maybe he'd been with her for a long time and there's just something that I completely missed. And I just jumped on this unit and just started, you know, running my gob. And a lot of you are just rolling your eyes at this point saying this guy is a complete jackwad. Uh, but other than that, treat her like a lady. Wait, how'd it go? I don't even know how it went. So I'm not going to try to sing and embarrass myself like I just did. Um, guys, if audio difficulties, here we go. Again, you don't have to look at my face and um, you can just kind of kick back and listen and walk around or listen to it in your car and not have to look down to see if I've done anything extraordinary um, like juggling. Then let me know. Leave it in the comments. I need some feedback. I need some feedback. Treat me like a gentleman. And I will say, thank you, madam, or thank you, sir, and go from there. Um, likes, comments, notifications, wait, likes, subscriptions, notifications. Then have the ace up your sleeve. Advice, comments, experience, it all counts. It all matters. There's a dialogue that we can add into this and have amongst each other in the, in the comment section. And if you would like, you can always hit the share button and send this to somebody, somebody who might enjoy this topic format, somebody who's going to jump on and call me a chauvinist pig like she's uh, Helen Reddy from the 70s in the ERA movement um, for suggesting that a lady shouldn't be treated like a lady or for suggesting that she should be treated like a lady. You see how complex this is? Uh, but it works for both sides. So that's the thing. Um, it's not just about that. The song happened to be called Treat Her Like a Lady. Um, but if you like if you like this format where you don't have to sit and look at me, um, looking at the camera, and then feel uncomfortable when we make eye contact, then um, let me know. And I hope this finds everybody in total health of mind, body, and soul. And we'll guys, um, we'll see you on the next one. I really appreciate all the support. Peace, love, unity, solidarity.